Hello, Steve Lockhart back with you again. Thanks for joining me for my next review. The video that I'm going to review today is titled One Minute Exercises to Improve Posture and Reduce Back Pain, which of course are the things that everybody with some back pain is trying to achieve. So I, I, I have like I'm looking at a lot of videos and you can see from the screen beside me or behind me that there are many many videos out there using stretching programs as a way of dealing with your back pain and I have a bit of a problem with that to tell you the truth I've found in my experience that stretching you know to try and reduce pain it just doesn't work and it is really a big waste of your time now, that's my opinion but let me explain a little bit of the logic to you and see what you think. Um, now, the first thing I would say is that stretching and exercises have been the go-to therapy programs for back problems for, what, 20, 30 years now. It seems that everybody, physiotherapists, physical therapists, uh, chiropractors, osteopaths, doctors, personal trainers, if you tell them you've got pain or back pain, lower back pain, it's always stretch. You need to do these stretches. The thing about that is that after all this time and all these people doing all these stretches, the problem is still there and it's getting worse. So logic tells me that if this was a solution to a back problem, we would have seen those results by now and people would be running around without their back problem. But that's not the case, as I say. So that's really the first part of the logic. Uh, I did write an article on stretching uh, that I've posted in my blog. So I'd encourage you, if you want to see more of the detail of my logic or more of my opinion, to go to the blog on my website. You'll see the address come up on the screen. Uh, just go to page four of the blog and you'll see that article at the top. And have a read and feel free to comment. I'm always happy to have a discussion with you about it. Now there will be people who will say that, well, I had back pain and I did stretches and it worked for me. And I would say that you would be in the minority. You probably didn't have a long-term chronic back problem for a start. And if you do get some relief from stretching, you may have found that you, were, you helped your body compensate for any imbalances or posture problems that existed and so you buried the problem the real problem into your body and there's a good chance that it will come back at a later point you might even be somebody that gets tells me that you get back pain you know every few months but you stretch and get rid of it well you don't really get rid of it because if you did it wouldn't be coming back all the time you're burying it into your body and that's fine if that's you know all you want to do but the reality is, if you leave that situation go for many years, it'll be a lot harder for you to get rid of with that sort of technique. So my, my understanding of it is that back pain is not a problem with flexibility or mobility around that lower back and hips area. And that's what all these programs are targeting. That's what they're all trying to get. They're all doing these stretches and exercises to try and make your lower back more flexible and your hips more flexible and improve your mobility. But that is where the symptom ends up and that is where you feel your back pain, but it's not where or it's not what is causing it. Okay, so my thinking or my way of approaching it is let's deal with the cause of it and then the tension and the stiffness doesn't build up in that region where you're feeling it. So what is the cause of it? Okay, the cause of it is to do with your posture, the way you're carrying the load of your body and gravity. So you want to be carrying your body weight and gravity in a very straight, balanced way. And if you're doing that, then you're not causing the muscles to try and um, react or try and hold you into a good posture against what your body might be doing. You're not causing the muscles to stiffen up and for your joints to start getting compressed, which is what happens 
when you don't carry your body weight or the load of your weight, uh, your body weight and gravity in a nice balanced position. You know, if your pelvis, for example, has a bit of a tilt or a fall to one side, then all your weight is going in that way. And the muscles in your lower back will react and your legs and hips will react by grabbing as trying to brace against that. And this is what causes you pain. So if you can correct the way your body is carrying your weight and carrying the weight of gravity, then everything can relax and you will get your mobility and flexibility back. Now, the other thing, the other point I'd like to make is that when you look at these programs and these videos online, the people will require you to have quite a decent flexibility to do some of these stretches. For example, the one where you're laying on your back, you pin your shoulders to the floor and you need to lift your knees towards the ceiling and you roll your hips over so that your legs are lying on the side to get a real twist going on in your lower back. Well, from my experience, people that have any sort of back problem long term, they don't have that sort of flexibility. They are unable to get that movement. They might get their knees you know, a quarter of the way or half of the way before it all locks up and it's too tight. And in this position, you're actually holding your muscles. You're not able just to let them go and let everything release. So the exercises work okay. You'll get that, you know, they can, you'll have that flexibility if you're fairly young and healthy and you've got good mobility and flexibility in your body. But the reality is most back pain sufferers aren't like that. And I'm guessing that most of you watching aren't like that. So the exercises sort of defeat the purpose themselves. I would say that these type of exercises, um, providing they're not really pulling on your joints and, and your, your spine, they're better to be doing them as a preventative means, you know, during your exercise or after your exercise program, after your sport, as a way of trying to ward off the shortening up of your muscles. And to keep some sort of relaxation and, and mobility in your muscles. You see, what happens when a person does have a back problem and has it for any length of time is the muscles in their body that are causing this get very contracted, but in a permanent way. They don't, they're not functional. Like a muscle function is it contracts and it releases and it acts like a pump and puts blood and oxygen through. So. If your muscles are contracted and staying like that, then they're not functional. So they're not even getting the benefit of exercise and stretching that you're trying to do. You know, if your muscles are stiff and contracted and you're doing weights, for example, you're not going to grow that muscle because it's not functioning. You're more likely to be loading the joint that that muscle supports. So, if you read the article uh, on my in my blog, you'll sort of see all this a bit more clearer, hopefully. But the thing you need to learn here is that there are better ways to spend your time to get relief from your back pain than trying to do mobility exercises and stretches that work on your lower back and your hips, which is the side of the symptoms. And I would really go as far to say that any therapy you pay good money for, where the, the person tells you to go away and do stretches and exercises to try and deal with your back pain, you know, you'd be better off finding somebody else because they don't really understand where the cause of the problem is coming from. You know, so many times I see people um, in books or on, on the internet, wherever, saying that the cause of lower back pain is this tightness in the you know quadratus lumborum muscles or you know around the hip glute minimus glute medius muscles or whatever that is where the tightness ends up and they get affected by the problem which is causing the back pain they are not the cause themselves so as soon as a person starts talking to you about dealing with that tightness by doing stretches or exercises my advice would be look for a better therapist. Look for a therapist that understands why the problem is ending up there. It's looking at your whole body, finding the dysfunctional muscles in your body and treating them to bring back a correct posture and bring back balance into your muscle system. 
Okay, so moving on from that, I have a uh, tip or a technique for you to do that will help you with your back problem and will help you with that mobility and flexibility and will help you build a little bit of strength in there that should protect you from the pain that you're feeling. And that is uh, in the water. Now I like the water because it takes a lot of your body weight and gravity weight away. So when you're in the water, you know, you're weightless pretty much. And it's the same as when you have a back problem and you want relief and you lie down. You're taking the weight off your back and taking the weight of bo your body and gravity away and your back pain will ease in, the, in many cases. So the water is a great way, a great place to work out and to do your exercises to help improve your tone and strength and mobility and flexibility. The exercise doesn't involve swimming, it doesn't involve putting your head underwater and it's very simple to do and all you need to do is find a body of water that is deep enough that you can't touch the bottom and you've got some good clearance for your feet. Then I suggest you get a pool noodle which is a long uh, foam tubular flotation device or you could use something else that keeps you floating and uh, with the noodle you place it around your chest and under your arms and you can just rest on it and, and you're floating upright in the water. And then in that position, you just do a forward and backward kicking action, like a scissor action with your legs. So you let your whole body relax and move in the water and you just kick through and pull back and you just go through like you're going for a lovely long run. But you haven't got the pounding, you haven't got you know, that stress on your back and the weight you're carrying with gravity. So you're getting some fitness, you're getting some, some tone into your muscles and your, that movement will help improve the flexibility and mobility in your lower back. And it's very important to try and do it very evenly on both sides because ultimately with a back problem, you are trying to build balance back into your body, you know, correct your posture so that your pelvis is straight, your shoulders are straight and your spine is straight in the middle. If you have that nice straight angles and then you put the weight of your body and gravity on top of that, you won't have pain because your body is is able to support that at you know the ultimate strength and if you do have pain and you are straight and even like that your problem is simply strength and this exercise or lack of strength so this exercise will also help that so i really recommend you try and do that one 30 or 40 minutes every day now it doesn't have to be forever because once you get yourself into a better condition and you start treating your back pain in a better way and getting rid of the problem, then you can move on to the exercises you prefer. This is more of a self-therapy technique and you can combine it very well with the other self-treatment technique I, uh, I point out in the other videos, the reviews that I've done. So if you're watching all the reviews, you're going to see a series of different self-treatment exercises that you can put together and get a lot of relief or get a lot of help in putting your body back into a nice symmetrical balanced position like muscle system and good posture and you'd be surprised how little pain you will have if you can keep your body like that okay there's lots of things to do it's not just you know one or two so there is it is a full body approach and you need to go through the process to get rid of your pain. But what I'd like to try and do is, in, is, not, is tell you the things that are gonna waste your time, that you're spending good time on that aren't going to do you any long-term benefit when you could be spending that time on things that will help you long-term, okay? So one other thing I'd like to cover is, you know, when people, uh, that do exercise, sport, whatever, and I tell them, look, stretching is a waste of time and you're really not gonna get a lot of benefit from it. There's a couple of stretches I recommend you do, um, but the rest, there's no point. They always say to me, well, if I don't stretch, how do I keep the injuries away? How do I you know, keep my body loose and flexible? And that's a whole story in itself. And I recommend you go and have a read of the free book that I give away on my website which will explain all of that stuff for you. It's far too much for me to start going through here. But there are lots of things you can do to actually improve your flexibility and muscle condition and health. And the, the, the thing that I encourage them to have a look at 
is a program that I developed, uh, which I call SLM Yoga. Now, I actually developed this quite intuitively without going out and uh, focusing to try and do it. It's a program that is done largely on the floor. There is a strength component at the beginning to help build a nice, um, straight, strong lower body that acts as a foundation for your spine and your back. And it's a program that re-educates your muscles to be able to switch on and switch off. And as I say, a lot of the problem uh, that happens with people that develop pain and get into chronic pain is the muscles become dysfunctional. So this is about trying to retrain those muscles to switch on and off again so they start functioning properly. But to do it in such a way where you're working both sides, the same muscles on both sides of your body at the same time. And there's also a component where you need to connect your nervous system with those muscles. So once a muscle becomes contracted and, and shuts down, the nerve doesn't actually fire it or doesn't connect with it. And so if I told you to try and switch that muscle on or try and activate that muscle that was like that, you, without, you know, just by concentrating on switching it on, you wouldn't be able to do it because you've lost that connection between the nervous system firing the muscle and the muscle itself. So the idea of the SLM yoga is to retrain that, to reconnect the nerves with the muscles and to reactivate the muscles function evenly on both sides of your body. And as you can appreciate, that's what will bring you back into balance and that's what will help get the muscles functioning again and then release and give you your flexibility and mobility back. But people, are at all different stages with their back problems. So some people are, you know, their muscles have been deteriorating for a very long time. Some people not so much. Some are older, some are younger, some are healthier, some are fitter. All these different myriad of things that come into play. And that's why I encourage you to have a read of the book and get a bit of a grasp on that. But also if the yoga in itself is not enough to, um, to bring all your muscles back and to rebalance everything and activate it, what it will tell you <clears throat> is where your problems lie because you will correct a lot of the dysfunctional muscles in your body, but you might, might find that there's one spot or a couple of spots which aren't able to be, you can't bring them back with this alone. And that's then you step into other areas, other things that I'm gonna show you, and this will bring those areas back and then everything will start to connect and flow again. So have a look at this, um, the, the link's on, on my uh, screen here. And so if you're someone that's in pain or you play sport or you do a lot of exercise, I really think that the SLM yoga t style of releasing and balancing your body will be much more effective at taking away your pain and niggles or even preventing injuries than stretching is. So check it out anyway. And uh, I hope you found this review useful and you've got some good information from it. I, um, I really encourage you to do that water workout exercise. I've given it to lots of people over the years and all have come back and said how fantastic it is. It is a little bit hard to get into the water, but it's well worth it. And uh, other than that, combine that with the double ball technique that we covered in a previous review. And I... Look forward to seeing you next time at the next review. Thanks very much. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up symbol. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post a new video.